Before we get to the Taco Bell starting lineups, let's uh, check it out for the Hornets. Aaron Collison coming off a 24-point game. Saturday night at Charlotte continues to start for the injured Chris Paul. Pedro Stoyakovich has picked up his play for the Magic Vince Carter, who's made Matt Barnes coming off a big game from downtown. He hit three yesterday against Boston. Stoyakovich able to keep it alive. And this is Collison. Uh, we have seen Dwight Howard adding to the repertoire. The only way you're going to get better, especially offensively, get him the ball down low and trust in that shot as Asia three. knocks down the three. Forty by way of New Zealand now defending on Howard with some help. The steal by Stoyakovich. Lewis backpedals. Stoyakovich all the way. Three. Dwight Howard struggled in last year's two games against the Hornets. Only shooting 33% as Asia again coming off the screen, knocking it down. It's all going to need off the foot speed to stay with him. The Gray only his 10th game of the season. Stoyakovich from deep. That's a three for the handle of the back tap. Stan Van Gundy was an assistant at Fordham. That's the late 80s. And Jeff Bauer at Marist College in the Rick Smith era. Well, Aaron Gray was, was wide open. The dunking Dutchman. Your teammate with Indiana. Here's the steal by by Collison. And here is Petrus on the drive. He thought he was fouled by Gray. Nice move by Petrus. Stoyakovic for three. Hornets do not waste any time getting six of its last seven on the road while at home they've dropped a scary game tonight. And then following tonight, they have a, a day off of that in Chicago on Wednesday. Stoyakovic. Nice pass. 16 for Pager. Watch Vince turn his head now. But also talk about that weak side guy. Yep. Oh. Look how far, look how close he is. Okay. Perimeter game going, felt very comfortable pulling up, facing the basket, hits early jump shots, which is good as far as his confidence goes. And then his ability to drive the lane, get inside the Magic defense, and again, high percentage shots. His partner, Pedro Slayakovich, who has been playing so well over the last two weeks. Pedro feels it from down deep and then even chips in a little bit at the defensive end with the steal and the layup. Well, fun. Barnes all over Stoyakovic. Asia has yet to score in the second half. Finally gets one to go. Coming off the shooting slump that lasted throughout the month of January. Here's Peterson for three. They double up on Stoyakovic briefly. Stoyakovic from downtown. He backed up on Lewis and hit that corner three. Aggressive at the offensive end. West. Uh, Dwight Howard was face guarding him. He actually was making contact with him using the pick. A lively pass. Howard could handle it. Posey on the break. He scores and he's fouled by Lewis. It's a good defensive team and they rebound well, but offensively they do struggle. Stoyakovic with a nice fake on Barnes. Yeah. Stoyakovic on the move again. Boy, he has really looked good. What did I say? Force him left, make him go right, all the way to the basket. What does he do? Lay it in. With an injured hip. Kevin Harlan, Doug Collins will have it for you from L.A. David West right back. Involved in a technical call on Howard. And you can see why West is upset because right here, the hole right there, there's where the hole takes place. And that's what gets him so upset is the fact that Dwight Howard won't let him move. West reacts. You see the arms filling. Howard reacts. Technical. And that's the 13th technical of the season. Charge to Howard. Stoyakovich will shoot the uh, technical free throw. To see for the home stretch. 
Hornets have one timeout left to 20. Orlando has a full at 220. Stoyakovic from way downtown. And the Hornets are within three. With a quick break, we take you to Kevin Harlan, Doug Collins in L.A.